Hey there, welcome back. Nice to see you again. We continue on through our call time spoiler discussions looking at Rise of the Dreadmarn. This is a three CMC instant speed create X22 black zombie berserker creature tokens where X is the number of non token creatures that died this turn. Foretell for one. With any foretell card, we are allowed to play it face down into exile for two mana and then play its foretell cost. Uh, at any time, we could normally cast that spell. So if it's an instant, we can do it at any time. If it's a sorcery, we can only do it on our main phases. Same as creatures, etc., etc. This, in my opinion, is quite nice in a mono black deck, any form of aggro deck as the foretell. You can play it face down, and now you have an insurance policy against any non-exiled wipes, whether that be Storm's Wrath, Shatter the Sky, and we have, you know... Wrath of God. There's so many things um, in Historic that wipe the field as well. S Smeltering Sun or whatever it is. There, the list goes on and on and on, my friends. Rise of the Dreadmorn can protect us against this. You know, playing it face down, we can flip it for one mana, which is really nice. We're an aggro deck. We've got three, four creatures attacking, right? Our opponent wipes the field. They think they're safe. We cast this from exile face down for one. We get four two twos potentially. That's not bad for three mana. I really like it, and it can definitely take your opponent by surprise. I don't know how relevant this will be in limited. I've not seen any field wipes yet. Typically, you know, I don't think this is really worth it if you're just getting a single 2-2 two -two black zombie for three. We've got better options than that, especially in standard. But, you know, if we can go really wide with creatures, we can get this in play our opponent used some form of, you know, destroy all or damage based removal that's not exile. We can flip it, get a bunch of creatures, and continue to apply pressure, which is really nice. Um, so, with that being said, let me know what you guys think of Rise of the Dreadmarn. Again, a 3 CMC instant to create X22 Black Zombie Berserker creature tokens, where X is the number of non token creatures that died this turn. Uh, a final mention on this, you guys, you can use this if you wipe the field as well, right? So, you know, you could have it in your hand or face down, preferably face down, and your opponent might be the aggressor, or maybe you both are the aggressors, even better, right? So, you know, it allows you to not only play the uh, role of aggressor, but now you can also protect against it. And by doing so, it just actually increases your strength um, quite a bit. So, you know, not only will you get the 2-2 um, two -two zombies for the creatures that died on your field this turn, but also the ones that died on your opponent's turn, uh, which is really, really nice. So, um, I quite like it. It's not bad. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any comment, uh, or sorry, combo ideas, etc., etc. Uh, you know, I just love the idea of being able to run, you know, maybe... Uh, an Orzhov red and black, a uh, red and black, white and black aggro deck, and being able to protect, right? Being able to use my own Shatter the Skies, wipe the whole field because I couldn't get through anymore, and now, you know, flip this over for one mana, and then we've got, you know, four to eight two twos that are able to smash in uh, really effectively. The thing is, if you are doing it after your own wipe, that's going to be sorcery speed, of course, and now your opponent has a turn to remove all of your two twos. If you do it instant speed, um, you know, you still get those uh, in play. The summoning sickness goes. They've already spent their mana, and now you can attack. So, you know, you can do this on your turn after the wipe if you're doing it. But it's better if your opponent does the wipe, right? Because now they don't have a chance or they have less of a chance to engage with your field of 2-2 zombies. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below if I've missed anything. I'm sure I have. I always do. Thanks for your time and attention. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel for more content. We've got a playlist uh, above my head here with all of the spoilers in it. You can check them out. It'll rifle through them all. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you soon in the next video.